Hi there, my name is Lisa and I am from Growing Stars. Let us take a look at how the Growing Stars classroom tool works. The intuitive classroom tool developed by Growing Stars comes with multiple attractive features and functions. Here are some tips and tricks to help you smoothly engage in your classroom operations. Let's get started. Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. Today, we will walk you through the basics of the Growing Stars Classroom Tool. Before we log in, here is a list of the full technical requirements of the Classroom Tool. Open Google Chrome, access the Growing Stars website, growingstars.com, and log in with the credentials of the student. Click Classroom Tool and maximize the pop-up. Once you are logged in, you will get a call from your tutor, click answer, and allow the microphone to enable voice communication. If you require sessions with video, a consent mail from the parent is required. Please contact your education manager for further guidance. Now, let's see the user interface of the classroom tool. At the top, you can see the name, internet strength, whiteboard connection status, and mic status of both the student and the tutor. If it is a successful connection, the whiteboard will be in connected status and both the student and the tutor will be shown as online. At the bottom right, you can see an audio video control panel where you can mute or unmute the microphone. Enable or disable the video. Change the headphone volume. And make changes to the default audio video device. A detailed help document can be accessed using the help link at the top right. Now, let's check the basic tools on the Classroom Tool. Growing Star's Classroom Tool features a live interactive whiteboard with integrated audio. All tools in the classroom work with a normal mouse. However, to make the writing easier on the whiteboard, we use the Wacom Pen Tablet. The pen which comes with the tablet can be used just like we use a mouse. When the pen is moved over the tablet, the mouse pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. Touch the pen on the tablet for selection. Now, let's see the basic tools one by one. Using Pencil Tool, you can write or draw on the whiteboard. Click Pencil and Scribble on the whiteboard. Select the Color tool to change the default black color and the Size tool to select the line thickness. Text tool is for typing and using your keyboard. Click Text, click the whiteboard and type in. Click and drag to select the typed in text to format, edit or delete the text. Pointer tool is for bringing the tutor's attention to a part of the classroom whiteboard. Tutor's pointer is of red color, yours blue. Click pencil to remove your pointer. The red pointer can be removed only by the tutor. Highlight tool is for highlighting a whiteboard content in the selected color. Press and hold the shift key for horizontal highlight. Press and hold Ctrl and Shift keys together for yellow horizontal highlight. Erase tool erases the content on the whiteboard. Click Erase and encircle the part of the whiteboard you need to erase. It cannot erase the content typed in using text tool. In the Shapes menu, there are different mathematical shapes. Click the shape and drag on the whiteboard. It will appear in the selected color and line thickness. The faces menu has a set of emojis which you can use on the whiteboard. 
undo can reverse up to five recent actions done on the whiteboard and redo restores those actions. Now that you know how these basic tools function, let's move to the advanced features and functions. Now, let's see the advanced tools one by one. The tools menu includes submenus. Graph tool enables you to display a graph with values ranging from 1 to 50. Table tool inserts a table on the whiteboard with the specified number of rows and columns. Ruler is a tool for measuring the length of a line segment in inches or centimeters. Protractor aids you to measure the angles. Compass helps draw circles or arcs on the whiteboard. To move the compass to another location, click the leg with the needle point and drag. To change the width, click the leg with the pencil tip and pull. To resize the compass, vertically drag the top handle. Double-click the pencil tip to fill it with the default color, that's black. Double-click again to remove the color. The color and size tools at the top can be used to select a different color and line thickness. Now, click and drag the pencil tip to draw a circle. To draw arcs, double-click the pencil tip to toggle between fill color and remove color. The close button on the hinge can be used to close the compass after use. Use add ext file to load Google Docs or files from your computer to the whiteboard. For uploading Google Docs, log in to your Google account and allow the whiteboard to access your Google Drive. The content will load in a new whiteboard tab. Only the tutor has the option to switch between multiple tabs. To bring PDF, Doc, XLS and PPT files to the whiteboard, use the computer option in the Add EXT file dropdown. A small thumbnail window will load with the previews of each page. Click the page preview to load the content. The thumbnail window on screen can be moved to the right or closed. If closed, press Ctrl-E to open it again to go to the next page. The same tool can be used to load images. Browse, open the image, click close and then click the point on which you need to paste it. The image can be moved, resized and rotated if required. Click Pencil to end the pasting process. Live copy pasting can also be done with the help of shortcut keys displayed on screen now. Once copied, press Ctrl-V to paste the image and click Pencil to end the process. In the Options menu, there is a chat tool by which you can chat with the tutor. Using Save as PDF and Save as JPG, you can save the whiteboard content to your computer in the respective formats. Files saved using Save as JPG can be opened up using any graphics editors like Paint. Now, let's see how to use the Save as PDF and Print tools effectively. Lengthwise, our whiteboard is equivalent to 3A4 size pages. 
So, the whiteboard content should be cut off in between to make the printout readable. The following steps will make sure no valid content on the whiteboard is cut off during the PDF conversion. Click Options, Page Break. Scroll down the whiteboard to see the positions of the page breaks. If the page breaks are there on top of the content, click Options Select and move the page breaks to a blank area. Then, click Options Save as PDF or print the content. The Start Rec tool can be used to record the sessions. Once the call is established in the Classroom tool, click Options, Start Rec, select the screen you would like to record, entire screen or whiteboard. Click Share. Recording starts here. After the session, before logging out from the classroom, click Options Stop Rec. Depending on the download settings of your browser, the recorded file will either be saved in the Downloads folder, or you can manually select a folder using the pop-up and save. We recommend VLC Player to open this file. Using the Share Screen tool, your screen can be shown to the tutor. Select the screen and click Share. Click Stop Sharing to end the sharing. After the session, click Exit to log out from the Classroom tool. Next, let's see how the Growing Stars Homework tool works. To support your learning, your tutor will assign worksheets for you on the Homework tool. Click Open the Homework tool on your dashboard and maximize the pop-up. To view the list of assigned homework files, click the drop-down next to Homework List. The files are arranged datewise here, the latest on top. Place the mouse pointer over each file to view the tutor's name along with the date and time at which it is assigned. Select the homework name and answer the questions using the suitable tools available there. Once done, click Submit HW to Tutor to submit the homework for the tutor's review. A copy of it will be saved in your Downloads folder. You can filter the homework list by tutor's name or date, or both by clicking Filter this homework list, select the type of filter you need and click Refresh Homework List. To clear the applied filter, click Clear, and then Refresh Homework List. We hope you've enjoyed the experience and are now familiar with the advanced classroom tools and features. We wish you an exciting and enriching journey ahead. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these videos.